Welcome in to the Ravens Rundown, powered by Jets Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us. It is mock draft season as I have mock draft 1.0 straight ahead for you Ravens fans as we will simulate all five of the Ravens draft picks and I will give my perspective of who they should pick in each of these scenarios. We'll break it all down for you in just a few moments from right now. Before we do, though, quick question. To begin today's show, I want you to weigh in in the comments section. Let me know. In the Ravens' history, all these years, who was the greatest draft pick of all time? In your opinion, there are no wrong answers here. Just tell me who you think, in your opinion, is the Ravens' greatest draft pick of all time, and we'll get started with today's show. So here's how this works. We are going to simulate the draft. We have used the simulator from Pro Football Focus where – They make these selections for the other 31 teams. And then I step in as the Ravens GM for the day. We'll say Eric DaCosta and John Harbaugh got food poisoning or something. And I get to make the picks. No trades involved, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and look at what the Ravens draft picks are for 2023. They only have five picks, as we mentioned. The first round, pick pick 22. Third round, pick 86. Fourth round pick 121, round five pick 145, and then round six pick 185. And so with that, with only having five picks, the Ravens have to make the most of what they have with their limited draft capital. So with that, we will go ahead and jump right into the draft. The previous four picks, let's go ahead and set the scene for you. The Steelers in this simulation, they take Bijan Robinson from Texas with a number 18 pick. The Bucs go Zay Flowers out of uh, Boston College at wide receiver. The Seahawks go corner, take Cam Smith from South Carolina. And then Nolan Smith, the outside linebacker from Georgia, goes 21 to the L.A. Chargers. So this is what leaves us with the best available at this point for the Ravens to make this selection at 22. We can go Jackson Smith, JSN, the star wide receiver from Ohio State. We go offensive line, Anton Harris, the offensive tackle from Oklahoma. We could go Jordan Addison, the wide receiver from USC, who I'm a big fan of. Broderick Jones, the offensive tackle from Ohio State, also on the board, as is Joey Porter Jr., the cornerback from Penn State. We will make the selection in a moment. But first, your turn to weigh in. You see the best available at this point. What would you do with the number 22 overall pick? Before I give my pick, I want to hear directly from you who you would pick for that number 22 selection for the Baltimore Ravens. Let me know in the comment section below who your pick is. Dun, 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 dun. With the 22nd pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Jackson Smith. From the Ohio State University at 22 overall. What a steal this would be. And I know a lot of you are thinking right away, well, the Ravens' offense isn't great for receiver help. Well, I hope the offensive scheme changes, that they do something different than the Greg Roman style of things, where a guy like Jackson Smith can excel potentially. And no matter what, even if the system stays in place, Lamar's still there, whatever it may be, You are going to need receiver help. And if Jackson Smith is available at 22, how can you pass on this guy? Third-team All-American in 2021. Mel Kuyper has him as the number one rated receiver in the entire draft and number five overall. Can you imagine if he's there at 22? You, You can't pass on that. I think wide receiver is the number one priority for this draft. And if Jackson Smith's there, I don't care about the injury history. It was a hammy. Caused him to miss most of 2022. I don't think that's going to be a factor in his future as far as what he brings to the table. Jackson Smith, an incredible wide receiver. I'm excited to see what he does in his future in the National Football League. Let's go ahead and tell you more uh, about Jackson Smith and the statistics for him in 2021. The last time we saw him play a full season when he was healthy, he was just outstanding. Had 95 catches. Over 1,600 yards, 16.9 yards per reception, and nine touchdowns. 
That's incredible. And to think that that receiving core included the likes of Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson, and he was still putting up his too. That is amazing to me. Just the raw talent and athleticism, and he's got just about everything that you would want in a wide receiver. Here's what Mel Kuyper Jr. had to say about the potential Ravens draft pick, his evaluation of Jackson Smith. This injury shouldn't affect his play in 2023, talking about the hamstring, and I still think he could be a star at the next level. This is the same wideout who led Ohio State in catches and yards last season, even on a team with two wide receivers drafted in round one of the 2022 draft. He has stellar burst and explosiveness out of breaks. He has a hands catcher who can run the entire route tree. He can make defenders miss after the catch. How can you not be fired up hearing all those things about JSN? So what say you? If you had the same opportunity I just had, would you want to draft JSN? I know I would. You see, you saw me make the selection. Would you draft JSN? Do you want to see him in Baltimore? If so, type D for draft. If not, type P for Pats. Let me know in the comments section if you want to see him in a Baltimore Ravens uniform. Folks, we are your Ravens offseason headquarters. We got you covered here on Chat Sports with daily Baltimore Ravens coverage as we catch you down to the NFL draft. We have our news and rumors segments as well. There is no one else that's going to cover the offseason like we will here on Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. Subscribe to the channel now. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. YouTube.com slash Ravens TV for more. All right, uh, we're going to skip ahead to the third round because the Ravens don't have a second round selection. And we go cornerback. And that's where we find Deontay Banks with the third round selection pick 86. Uh, We don't know if the Ravens are going to bring back Marcus Peters. Even if they do, the Ravens still need to get younger at the defensive back spots. And Deontay Banks has a lot of potential. Here's a guy that uh, we're getting in the third round, but according to Sports Illustrated, is a second-round quality player. Still hanging around the third. We're glad to have him here. With uh, a season where he was honorable mention all Big Ten this past year, had 38 tackles, um, had half a sack and an interception. To me, this is a find that we feel really good about in the, in the third round for a second-round caliber player. To me, That's a win for the Ravens when you can get that type of value in a position of need as well. Then we shift gears. We move on to the fourth round, and I'm going receiver again. Look, when you're starting Demarcus Robinson as your number two receiver, you need help. One receiver is not going to be good enough. You got to get two, I think, in this draft. And then, of course, you're dealing with free agency too. Marvin Mims out of the University of Oklahoma is who we take with this selection at pick 125. I got to tell you, I love Marvin Mims. I think that if he had not had to deal with playing with Dylan Gabriel and a six-win Oklahoma team that had a down year, Marvin Mims could have been a, you know, a round two or three guy potentially. Because the way OU season went, he slides down to the fourth round in this mock draft. And, I mean, he was spectacular. Even with the circumstances of what Oklahoma went through this year, he was still a first-team all-conference player. I said this after they beat Nebraska, and I will hold serve to this. He reminds me of Elijah Moore. To me, he looks like a carbon copy of Elijah Moore. And if you are the Baltimore Ravens and you can have another Elijah Moore essentially on your roster, if you could add that to the fold of Jackson Smith, who you already have, and Mark Andrews, you would gladly take that. Even last year when Oklahoma was not that good and didn't have consistent play at the quarterback spot, he still managed over 1,000 yards receiving and six touchdowns, 20 yards plus a reception with 54 catches. Marvin Mims is really good. I like Marvin Mims, and I think the Ravens would be lucky to have him. Even if that means drafting two receivers, I'm fine with that. What say you, though? Would you have made the call I just made? Would you have drafted not one but two receivers in this draft? Let me know in the comments section. Type Y for yes, type in for no. Should the Ravens draft not one but two wideouts in this NFL draft? Let me know. Today's show is presented by BetUS, the exclusive sportsbook partner of Chat Sports. If you go to chatsports.com bet, 
Enter the promo code CHAT125. You will get a 125% deposit bonus. Put $100 down to get $125 to spend for free. I know the Ravens are out of the playoffs, but that doesn't mean you can't make money betting on the rest of the NFL playoffs, as well as the NBA, college basketball, and more. And the 125% deposit bonus, it's like buying a pizza, and then you get an extra pizza and a couple more slices for free. It's a heck of a deal. So what are you waiting for? Get your bets in now. Start making some money. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125. Two more picks to go for the Ravens. We move on to the fifth round, and we sure up the defensive line. With Calais Campbell getting older at this point of this recording, we don't know if he's retiring or not. Um, you know you need help there at the defensive line, aging guys there. That's where I look at Broderick Martin, the fifth-round selection uh, from Western Kentucky with this pick at 158 to help sure up things there. We know the Ravens love their linebackers. The sixth round, that's where we find Mohamud Diabate. I think I'm saying that correctly. The Utah linebacker at pick 198 is our final selection, getting a couple defensive players. We know the Ravens love their defensive draft picks. And so, although that we went with two wide receivers on offense, at the end of the day of our draft selections, we still got three defensive players as well. So I think it's a good balance. So to recap, here are the Ravens draft selections for you. We're going with Jackson Smith in the first round. We're going corner. We get a steal in Deontay Banks in the third round. We go another receiver with Marvin Mims in the fourth round out of OU. And then we finish up with two more defensive players, Broderick Martin uh, and also uh, our linebacker here from Utah as well, Mahamud diabate with that final draft selection so how did i do here's your chance to be a critical judge or tell me that tyler you did an incredible job and you should be the ravens gm grade my mock draft in the comment section a b c d or f what do you think of what i put together this mock draft for the ravens tell me in the comment section below as always you can interact with me on social media twitter instagram and facebook at tyler jones live talking about your baltimore ravens and all those social media platforms and i will see you next time right here on the Ravens Rundown. Thanks for joining